Okay, so since I clearly did not pay attention to these little holes, I usually like them to be about this size so that it's easier to put this type of needle all the way through. But as you can see on this side, it's very small right here where I would like to put it through. And these are just some old um, lid clips that I'm using. So I'm not going to be able to put this type of needle because of this fat in through this small hole. So I'm going to try another method. And this is usually kind of the hard part for me, so just bear with me. Because I actually just decided to do this while I'm trying to sit down and relax. Okay, so apparently that did not do what I wanted to do. So I'm probably about to have an anxiety attack at this point. So now that I finally have this little loop, I usually would loop it around maybe about two times, but I am just going to do just the regular one looping. And it's actually a little harder to do because I have long nails, which I should probably get cut down at some point. So I'm going to twist this around so that I can lock it in place. This is getting so annoying, guys. Okay, so that it can make this little knot. Okay. And now I'm just going to actually go under this part, if you can see. And I'm going to loop it again. Okay, and I'm going to do it make maybe one more time. This time I'm probably going to do it about three times so that I can get a good knot. I'm so horrible at recording. Okay, so now you can see how that is kind of holding that in place now. And since I have this little hole right here, I am going to loop it through this space right here. And this is actually a little bit harder to do since I am trying to rest and relax. So I'm not actually having the best recording at this moment. I know I usually don't make videos of me talking because I just don't like to talk too much. I think it's, it gets kind of annoying and maybe it's just my voice, but I thought I would try to give at least one video of me speaking so that I can follow along or you guys can follow along with me on this. Okay. So we finally have our clip in sewn down. And you can actually pin these back and forth. You would put these down, I guess it would actually go this way when you're hooking it like this onto your hair. You would push it down and then clamp it closed. So this isn't too bad. I'm still kind of getting used to doing um, or making clip-ins. It's not the best, but it's basic, and especially if you have dark hair and you're just adding like a few highlighted pieces um, because the thread is dark, your dark hair would actually blend in um, to this little part so that you don't see it. Or the other hair, if it lays the correct way, it would just like overlap it where you would no longer see it if you're just trying to blend it in. Two, um, your hair is already this color or similar to this color. This is just some old hair that I had laying around um, that was unused in a, a pack. So yeah, this is just the basic um, tutorial on how to, if you want to do your own, your own um, clip-ins to maybe like some old hair that you had or um, some old bundles or just to give yourself a highlighted look or maybe add some fullness or me. Just whatever you want to do. You can buy these. I think these, this half of 12 were only like $2.99. So it's not bad. Okay. Well, hopefully I can get these done and I can come back with another video to show you guys how to actually put these in to wear them. And 
if I have a mannequin with this color hair, show you guys how to blend it in if you just want to use them to blend in or show you guys how to um, just clip them in on a quick day that you are having a bad hair day and you just want something quick and simple. Okay. Bye, guys.